Oh, hi, Gozaimas. It is Nate and Angel here. We are in Hiroshima. We are at my host family's house. We officially made it. We definitely had a fun time sitting on that bus for 13 hours. Got about four or five hours of sleep, but yesterday we did make it. But it was better than the airplane because we actually slept. Yes. Well, I slept on the airplane. She did not, but that was because there was a lot of turbulence. But I slept on the bus for a good eight hours. Which I didn't, so I guess yeah. we kind of just flip-flopped. Yeah. Take a bus or a plane. So anyways, our update. So yesterday, we got to Hiroshima at about, what was it, like 9, 10, 9, 15 in the morning, something yeah. like that. And to our surprise, luckily, Okasan and Otosan, mom and father, were definitely waiting for us at the airport. So they that was were right there. No, not <clears throat> at the airport, at the bus station. Oh yeah, at the bus station. But that was really fun seeing them right when we got there. And they were waiting and they were super excited to see us. They came up and they gave me a hug. They gave Angel a hug. So that was a lot of fun to be able to see them. Um, and yeah, so after we <clears throat> got picked up at the airport, we came... It's a bus station. <laughs> we're always mixing that up. Anyways, after we got picked up at the bus station, um, we came home to our nice little room. We can give you a quick little view. Here is the little family shrine. It is beautiful. It is very original. We've got our room right in there that the doors are closed. But it is a very nice, authentic room that we are staying in. And so the first thing that we did after we got here is they took us out to lunch and we got okonomiyaki, which is famous in Hiroshima. It was very strange, it but was it was very, very good. good. It was very good food. If you're ever in Japan, ever in Hiroshima, I would definitely give it a try. So it's noodles that are made on like a hibachi style grill and then topped with other stuff. I think we had an egg <clears throat> yep. and green onions and some sauce. I have no idea yep. what the Okonomiyaki name sauce. sauce, yeah. It was very good. And Angel did take a video on our other GoPro of them making the Okonomiyaki. So once you were able to start editing our videos. So we forgot the travel adapter. So our laptop or our uh, Kindle is dead. So once we- Chromebook. Chromebook. So once we get our Chromebook charged, we're gonna start editing some of the videos because we plan to go to the mall today to look for an adapter in the hopes of being able to edit said videos exactly. with actual footage so yeah so after we had lunch yesterday we went and we shopped around a little bit i really wanted a kimono so we went to a couple different shops but unfortunately both of those shops were kind of tailored towards women so yeah there wasn't really any options and me. angel has been looking for american popcorn at the grocery store no luck they do not have American popcorn at the grocery store. They you have can, like straight up popcorn where you make it on a stove. Or pre-popped corn, but not like the bag that you throw in the microwave. They do not have that in Japan, surprisingly. Sadness. Just like trash cans. But they there have literally no everything. Cans. It's because you're supposed to take it home and burn your trash and categorize it. They don't yeah. like like... Which is kind of interesting. So we've decided to just take a bag with us. <laughs> She's got a big bag full of different types of trash that we're gonna be bringing home with us or finding, you know, the right So if we cans. get snacks, we can bring it home and then discard it in the appropriate manner, which exactly. is the biggest thing in Japan is that they're trying to encourage that. So yeah, so after we finished at the mall, we came home and uh, we ended up taking a nap because we both haven't really had the most amount of sleep recently. A so. very comfortable sleep, I should say. Yes, so we did take a couple hours to sleep yesterday. <clears throat> and after that, then we went up and hung out with them. And um, Otosan was very adamant about finding tattoo shops for Angel because Angel is very ready to get a Japanese tattoo. Yes. So he was looking at different... And he's super funny. Our, the, our parents are very, very funny there. Chichi and Haha are very funny. Yes. And um, we actually had a hot pot. I can't remember the Japanese name shabu, for it. Shabu, shabu Shabu. We had Shabu Shabu last night, which is very similar to hot pot in America, like which hot, was very good. Pot and of boiling broth. Yes. And Okasan Otosan definitely gave us some good wine, some good sake, gave me some good beer. We were having some good laughs. And they only speak Japanese, so it's actually very good for me to be able to practice my Japanese again. Because... But thank God for a Google Translate conversation. Yes, because there's definitely some things that she says that I you know, just... Get lost in translation. So she has a little app that she talks into to be able to translate toward, uh, for me, so that's fun. Yeah. 
So that was kind of the wrap on yesterday. Well, the day before yesterday, we... In Yokohama, we went to Chinatown. We went to Japan yep. Chinatown in Yokohama, which was super cool. There was a lot of different awesome. restaurants. There was a lot of different and street vendors. So there was a lot of temples, which we got ourselves in trouble because they had the doors open in the temple and we didn't know we weren't supposed to go in because well, there were no signs. There was signs. no signs. Or, there was nothing saying that we couldn't go into the temple. So we were just standing in there until the lady rude. came they and just, said, no, 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 out, yeah. out, out. They just oh, asked okay. us to leave and we did. Which was fine. But something that we discovered very quickly was while we were in Chinatown, you either have cash to buy food at the street vendors or you have an app called PayPay, which is kind of similar to PayPal. Yeah, like a like a Japanese Venmo. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we weren't sure if we were going to be able to pay for our Shinkansen that we're going to be taking the bullet train to Osaka after Hiroshima in cash or if they were able to take cards. So because we were, it's such a large quantity. So we were reluctant to spend the only cash that we had. So we ended up not doing that. We did. Because you can do a, like, a <clears throat> currency converter, but, you know, it's still more money that you have to pay. Like ATM. Exactly. And a little secret, we did cheat because we didn't eat any food at the um, Chinatown. We did go and we did eat at an American restaurant and we did have hamburgers. Okay, but the burgers were really good. They were really good. And they good. did accept card. So that was why we went I had to a back to the mall. And it was super good. But yeah, we did end up going back to the mall in Yokohama before we hung out for a couple hours waiting to take our hour-long train ride to Shibu... What was it? Shinjuku. Shinjuku, where our station was, which, which was actually very awesome lively. Area. Yeah, very yeah, lively, very a lively. lot of cool shopping, a lot of cool stuff. And we did take some videos there. So when we do edit a video, we will be posting that so you're able yeah. to see I'm that. I'm hoping that things will work out <clears> on the video front. But we're really just trying to figure it out at this point. So then, yeah, and then we hopped on the bus in Shinjuku for our like thirteen dollar bus ride, and now we're here. And you know about that. And so, today we are going to. We're going to be going to the bus station or the train station to, to buy our Shinkansen ticket, so and, that we have it already. And then after that, we're going to be going to a very nice flower garden in Hiroshima, mm -hmm. and, and see the castle. And then after that, we are going to be going to the Peace Memorial Museum in Hiroshima, which is a memorial to the atomic bombing in Hiroshima. Which so, I saw in 2011. We should probably go. But it will be very fun. So, yeah, it is 1020 here in Hiroshima, and we are going to head out to go adventure on Hiroshima. So, until next time, bye!